Did you know that Liberace, Cher, John Wayne, and Debbie Reynolds all shopped at the same place? Nudie's Rodeo Tailors. Nudie Cone was the original rhinestone cowboy with a signature style. His western wear featured fringe, rhinestones, and pearl snaps. And he also decorated 18 nudie mobiles. And I got to take a ride in one of them. Here I am with Nudie's granddaughter, Jamie. Jamie, thanks for the lift. Sure, no problem, Mark. I, I knew that your grandfather, Nudie, was a tailor, but I had no idea he was into decorating cars. What, what's the deal with the car? Well, at the store, not only did he make custom clothing, but he also was known for his silversmith work and all of his leather tooling. So, hence, here's the Nudie Mobile, or, or sometimes we call it the horns. This is fantastic. Silver dollars everywhere and pistols, spurs that actually work on the mirrors. <laughs> he must have been just a great guy. Tell me a little bit about your grandfather. Well, he immigrated here from Kiev, Russia. And he was born to the name of Nuta Kortlianko, but when he got to Ellis Island, the immigration officer wrote down Nudie, which was great. And he started doing all the outfits for the burlesque queens back in the 40s and actually had a business called Nudies for the Ladies. But he was responsible for making the Gold LeMay suit for Elvis Presley in 1957, which was valued at $10,000. And he did for John Wayne, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, everybody in the Western and in the rock and roll industry. He was actually the first man that put rhinestones on clothing. Oh, and that became a staple for entertainers for years and years to Absolutely. come. Absolutely. Jamie, thank you so much. I appreciate the lift. I've never arrived in such style. Right now, however, we're going to go inside where Roadshow appraiser Caroline Ashley is standing by with some special pieces of nudie uh, tailoring that we're going to take a look at right now. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm terrific. I see you're wearing a nudie original you there. You bet. You bet. You know, I lived within a block of Nudie's store in North Hollywood and had no idea the history behind his work. Well, you know, Nudie really captured the glitz and the glamour of Hollywood and really made the stars shine. This is Nudie's personal suit. It's called the pheasant suit for obvious reasons. And it's really his signature style because it's so highly detailed. You have the finest of embroidery. You have these incredible, vibrant, wild fowl. It's a wool gabardine suit. And it's a one of a kind. It's a one of a kind. How much would you expect to pay for the suit if you could purchase it? The value on a piece like this at auction would be $5,000 to about $7,500. And that's before you buy shoes. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> this one is called the orchid suit, and it's a little cowgirl suit. It has some interesting aspects to it, like the metallic fringe and the little pearl snap buttons. But the most important thing about it is the fine wool gabardine, which is important because it had to survive on the back of a real-life cowgirl. So that means hot lights, dusty arenas. And for 50 years old, it's in pretty darn good condition, don't you think? It's in great condition. I can't believe it's 50 years old. And what do you think the value is of this? On this piece, Mark, I would say in the range of about 3,500 to 5,500. It's a real testament not only to his design, but the actual craftsmanship of, of his work. It, it held up perfectly. Now, unlike the other two pieces we saw, which are one of a kind, if you will, haute couture mm -hmm. of nudies, this is something that if I wanted to come in and say, you know, I saw this code, I see it in the catalog, I'd like to own this, they would custom make this for me? That's right. So if your friend had one and you really admired it, they'd make one for you too in your size. But they weren't hanging on the rack in No, nudies. no, they weren't. So this frock coat, when it was originally made, you could pick up in the range of about 100 to 200 dollars. I would say now it would be in the range of about 850 to 1200. So let's take a look at this label inside this shirt. This label, Mark, was inspired by Nudie's wife, Bobby. Story has it that in about 1930, she emerged from the bedroom in nothing but a hat, boots, and holsters. And she said, when are you going to make me the rest of the outfit? Well, that's one way to get his attention, <laughs> It got huh? his attention. Anyway, it lasted until about 1960. And then the little cowgirl acquired a bolero jacket and a skirt, which is really a good way of helping us date Nudie's. Now, I can't figure this out. These boots are exquisite, <laughs> but it's a mismatched pair. What's the deal with that? Well, yeah, there's a story. You know, Nudie, even as famous as he became, he never forgot his humble beginnings when he didn't have matching shoes to wear. So to commemorate his youth, he decided to wear mismatched boots. And these are a pair of Nudie's mismatched boots. Now, this wasn't something he sold to the public. This was only for him. This is only for him. I'd put him in the range of about 3000 to 4000 I usually say there's another pair just like them, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Well, they're terrific. All of this stuff is just amazing. And thanks for sharing it with me. Well, you're welcome. It just shows glitz and glamour never dies. It's the only